How to create a children's book on Canva. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys step by step how you can create a children's book on Canva. These are especially beneficial and profitable on places like Amazon because Amazon KDP allows you to just upload your design and they print it out and send it whenever someone orders the book. So you don't have to worry about warehousing the products as well. Now, there are two parts to this video. First, I'm going to show you guys how to design the internal section of your book. And then later on, I will show you guys the outer section of your book. So it's really important to note that your book cover is going to be of a different size as compared to your actual book pages because your book cover on Amazon KDP is designed differently because the book cover is supposed to be one large page and then within that you add your pages so i'm going to show you guys how to design a book cover later but first let's design our children's book for that the first step that you are going to do is open up canva.com then click on custom size on the top right once you click on custom size change it from pixels to inches then add a 6 by 9 height and width this is totally up to your personal preference you can even go into amazon kdp to see some of their standard sizings you can go with 8 by 10 i like to go with 6 by 9 because this is a children's book so i can make it a bit smaller and then click on create new design now once you do that you will see a blank paper now Another thing to note is that if you are looking for a square design, you can also do square designs and you should obviously go for pre-existing template designs. Uh, that includes going something along the lines of a standard design such as um, 7 by 10, 7.5 by 9.5, you know, really depends on your personal preferences. But if you want, you can go into a 8.5 by 8.5 trim. And that is usually the best design in terms of square design. So I'll show you guys the differences between the two. 8.5. And then I will choose which one I want to use. So you guys can see this is a 8.5 by 8.5 canvas and this is a 6 by 9 canvas. So for a children's book, I think I want to also use a square size. Now it's time to get started with designing our book. So for any book, you need to have a story and I want to use this story over here, which is of a brave little squirrel. So to get started, just highlight the first line of your story. And in a tall oak tree, there was a squirrel named Sam. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into elements and I'm just going to select the background color and I'm just going to add like a beige color as I get started because if you don't have any color, it becomes really difficult to design. So I'm going to search for a oak tree over here and we have different photos as well as elements and I just like to use elements instead. So elements usually end up looking a lot more interesting. That is why I am using those, especially for children's uh, notebooks or children's storybooks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these ones over here and I will add those. Then taking this one, I will go into the layer and bring it to the front. So it, it looks a bit more filled out and I'm just going to take my larger tree, the one I want to make a bit more prominent and add it over here. Or I can even remove the background ones if I don't want to keep those either. I'll resize it a little so I can place it like this. And then after that, I am going to look at my story and we are looking for a squirrel. So we're going to go back into, and then once I search for my squirrel, I'm going to pick out a squirrel illustration that I like. I think I'm going to go with this one. And make sure that the illustrations are very obvious because this is a children's book. This doesn't need to be accurate. This just needs to be very visually stimulating. Then I'm going to search for a bird. So I'll just go into the graphics and I'm going to search for a simple bird illustration for which I can find multiple illustrations. So I can not find multiples of those. If I click on this one, I think this looks pretty decent. It's not too obvious like this and I'll make this a bit larger I'll make the tree a bit larger and I'll place the squirrel over here and the bird over here and I'm gonna go ahead and search for the sky 
and then I'll go into graphics over here and I will use this illustration of the sky like this and then I will click on layer and then click on send to back because this just helps in adding a bit more context for your illustrations. Then I will search for ground and then I will use some of the graphics for this and for our graphics I'm going to just use this little green landscape. This has a watermark so I think I'm going to find another one that I can get for free. So there are quite a lot of a lot of ground illustrations but I am just going to use one that could be inserted for everyone for free so i'm going to search for grass instead and then go into my graphics and yeah we have a lot of free grass illustrations so we can use this one or this one i think i'm gonna use mm, this one over here or this one like this and i'll just expand this so our book looks pretty nice now once i do that i'm going to click on layer and then click on send to back like this and i can just increase the size a little so it fits a bit well and then I will just use my sky illustration in the rest of the page. Now I will take my bird and I'm going to use a different bird illustration because it's not as obvious and this is honestly the most time consuming part of building your children's book because once you generate the basic backgrounds then you don't have to do a lot of effort after that. So I'm going to find a bird that is you know memorable like this one is really memorable I, I love this bird already i'm just going to take this bird over here then i'm going to search for a bandage because the bird is you know um hurt so i'm just going to search for a bandage and you don't need to make it accurate obviously i'm just going to use this pink little bandage on the bird i'll just place it on the bird over here and now once you've done that just click on duplicate page now what this does is that because you now have the basic draft, you can just uh, customize it. So I'm going to copy the first line obviously, and then add that into the first section or the first page. Then use a font that is going to be visible for your text like this. Now once you enter that, you can also add a background to the font because sometimes even with a highly visible font it can seem a bit lost so go into elements and once you go into elements just search for a just scroll down and go into shapes or just search for shapes over here then go into this shape section and just choose a simple square then once you do that just resize it a little like so and then change the color to like a beige or a gray. Now I can duplicate my page and add the rest of my storylines. So in the second line, it says, I'll help you, Sam. And I'll just copy that and then insert that over here. And then I am going to remove the bandage, help this, move my squirrel. I'll take the squirrel and I'll flip it horizontally so it looks like it is helping the little bird like this and I'll I will put a nest over here I'll just search for a simple nest like this over there then I'm going to duplicate my next page and then I will add the next line next two lines like this and then I'll just paste in my text over here and then I'll put the bird over here and then layer this and bring it to the front and then I will search for food in the graphic section. And then let's say it is bringing, I'll just search for nuts because that's a bit more realistic. So I'll just take these almonds or peanuts, you know, whatever you might think looks a bit better for your illustration like this. Then click on duplicate page and you can complete your story like this. So in this way, you can build a really cute story. Now, once you have completed this, you can just click on share and then click on download and download this as a PDF, which can then be uploaded into Amazon KDP. However, to design the book cover, go into Amazon KDP's book cover calculator. Over here, just input your book information. So this is going to be standard color, white paper, and the interior trim size is 8 by 8 Then you will get the page count. For our story, it's going to take 10 pages the minimum is 24 so i'll add 24 then just click on calculate dimensions and you will see the dimensions of the page you will automatically see the full cover 
width and height and this is the frame that you want to use when you are going to be creating your book cover and you can create it in the same way in canva just use these two measurements as the size of your canvas so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a comment down below if there's anything else that you would like to learn and i will catch you guys in the next video